somebody loves somebody sometimes. Everybody loves somebody now. It's the start of the summer season at fabulous Fox Hunter Caravan Park near Ramsgate, and multi millionaire Rolls Royce dealer Peter Jarvis is enjoying a taste of luxury. Look, all this caravan, lovely caravan. I've got a riser, look. Tappens with. Not even an electric one. Everybody loves Peter and his wife Viv could easily afford a holiday home abroad. Everybody Instead, they choose to spend every weekend in their caravan. But then this is no ordinary caravan site. The pool is complete with underwater music. There's an exotic water garden with ancient statues and pink flamingos. All part of the personal kingdom of Colin Saunders, who's obsessed with making his park the classiest in the country. What do you think of these lovely posters? New posters. Vinyl now, instead of paper. Look at this one. Exotic and personified. Doesn't mean anything. Made it up. The park is a family business. Colin's wife Monica and son Russell both play a part, while his daughter Jane is in charge of customer care. This is her biggest season yet. After seven years, Colin has finally decided to let Jane organise the big event of the summer. Well, we're going to hold it on the 16th of August. It's the first evening that I've actually organised, so I want it to be a real success. It's got to be a real success. Um, and we're going to have um, fancy dress, Caribbeans or carnival theme, um, a limbo dancing competition. <laughs> By the way, we use a comma, fabulous fox hunt. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous calling anything fabulous. Uh, but if you put a comma either side, you're taking the mickey out of yourself, and then all my mates in the industry don't hold it against me. <laughs> Why is it important that it's such a success for you? Well, um, to please my dad. I want my dad to be, uh, <laughs> I have to say, I want to be able to please him. And it's the first evening I've put on, you see. And, um, you know, it's important that it's a success. Uh, and start living the dream. That, uh, it is a bit of a dream, you know, caravans. You, um, it's all part of, part of life's dream, isn't it? Like owning a caravan, owning your own caravan, all that happens in a caravan, and around a caravan, and on a you know, place like this. And I'm just actually going down to see Patsy Palmer to see if she can um, come on the evening and support me, really. But um, it's going to be pretty good fun. I've got also a couple of international bartenders coming down um, to, to uh, pour cocktails, really. And now, two more have arrived today. Nobody does it better. Monica thought this one up. That's saying. And I'm going to put these up. Uh, and that I really mean for the best in fun, food and entertainment. So much fun. The entertainment here, fantastic. And Richard's food, superb. Ah, oh, yeah, there's Monica. Look, there, look, you did this one, Monica, didn't you? Nobody does it better. Yours. I'm just about to put it up. Why what? Space. Space? What do you mean space? Oh, space. Oh, that's the printers. I don't know. Patsy, oh. have you got a minute? Yeah. Got a minute, I can quickly have a chat. Yep. <laughs> um, you know, um, I don't know whether you know, but I think your mum might have mentioned to you that I'm having um, a sort of cocktail evening. Right. And I want to have it, I know it was originally going to be the 7th of August, but yeah. now it's going to be on the 16th of August. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be um, sort of carnival theme, fancy dress, limbo dancing. Yeah, because she said, but I won't be here, so I won't be able to... Oh, won't you? I won't be able to do oh, it. Oh, that's a shame. You're not going to be here. No. OK. Um, if, and we're also thinking about having maybe a 70s night. All right, that'd so be So if fun. you're going to be down, um, would you be interested in coming and supporting me for my 70s night? Oh, yeah, of course night? I will. If I'm here, I will. Yeah. If I'm do down, you like I 70s will. music? Yeah. Do you yeah. think it'd go down well? Yeah, it would do, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, so. OK, so maybe I'll have a chat with my dad about dates All and right, see what then. we've got available. And um, maybe if I can, you know, if you are available, I'd really love it if you could just come down and support me. Yeah, no, of course I yeah. will. OK, thanks ever so much. Where's Charlie? Support her. <laughs> <laughs> She's the best one here. Oh, they don't fit. They don't fit. Goodness gracious. Would you believe it? How's that look? 
Well, it looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Uh, that's not fabulous, is it? Nothing fabulous about that. Oh! Gracious me. What a mess. I have to start all over again. Showered and shaved, it's a big day for Peter. Ah, Despite his millions, he's nice bought a bargain build-it-yourself barbecue. Oh, and his family is waiting hungrily for their burgers. Right. So, that goes on there somehow. <laughs> if I get one in, I'll be laughing. Won't I? But it looks like these burgers are going to be anything but fast food. Yes. This is... I can't believe this. What the shit am I doing off? I'm going to have to take this down. Because I'm getting the needle with it. The important job of keeping the caravans clean is contracted out to Nick Croydon. Got their keys, sheets, blankets, everything, buckets. Yes. Okay. It's a new Emily, venture for Nick, a second-hand car dealer who also runs a car cleaning business and dreams of joining the ranks of the park's millionaires. Oh, Nick, he's a car. He's a character. He's totally off his trolley, I think, half the time. But all us girls get on well with him. When we went in, I wouldn't put my dog in some of the caravans that are supposed to have been cleaned. But we've got them up to scratch now, and it's just a case of keeping them up to scratch. He likes everything 110%, so if you're only doing 85, it's not good enough. Uh, well, the reason I got this van is, is because before I had a little estate car I was using for balloting work, etc. Uh, cleaning cars and running the hoovers and bits and pieces uh, around and since the company's grown we've had to buy a bigger van for and we've had all the sign writing done on it and everything to go around and do all our balloting work which has proved quite handy uh, but Mr Saunders at the Fox Hunters wasn't too happy it on site because it had too much display of writing on it, so I respect Mr Saunders wishes at the Fox Hunters, so we don't take it down there. So in turn I went out and uh, I bought myself a roller, Rolls Royce. So we use that down the fabulous Fox Hunters now uh, for running the sheets around and uh, blankets with the girls in the car. Supposed to be relaxing. Look. Meanwhile, the man who sold him the roller, Peter, is making slow progress with his barbecue. Yes. Got the first nut on. How about that? That's the result. None of these got washers on, so what? For Peter, BBQ is rapidly becoming a four-letter word. Ha-ha! We've cracked it. That's it, my instructions are gone missing there. Yeah. To make matters worse, there's the smell of the neighbours' barbecues. They're now happily tucking into their lunches. Something's wrong here. See? Where are they? That's mental. Isn't it? Oh, can't fix me bloody barbecue together. I want to put on a really good night. All right. Well, uh, so so the, <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what, at the end of the day... Jane you know, is hoping to enlist the services of another caravan owner for her crucial Caribbean evening, DJ Mariana Veridas. There's only one stumbling block. Mariana expects to be paid. Okay. You, you tell me what you would have expected to pay and we'll see if we can well, come to a happy medium. Well, I was hoping medium. you would have said perhaps somewhere like 
Because I knew you, I knew you would be doing it for a favour, you know. Um, well, like around about thirty. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, let, let's split the difference and say forty. Okay. And I'll give you a really good night. She wants to be paid. Yeah, she wants to be well, paid. paid. Well, of course she wants to be paid. I thought it would be an honour to, to have done a spot here for. Well, yes, but you see, as, I, a, as, a, as a special favour as well, I hoe her garden every week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But um, I was actually thinking of just maybe 20 or 30 pounds to pay her. First of all, she was saying you know, she quoted sort of 60, 70, and then I said, well, I thought more like maybe 30. And so she said, well, I'll meet you halfway in 40, but I'm not happy to pay her 40 no, quid, to be honest. Well, the other problem is, of course, is our DJ. Is she's using his equipment, and if she messes up the equipment, then you've got a problem. Yeah. And the other thing is, of course, she'd be too loud. Uh, you decide that. It's your yeah, night. Your yeah. night. This would be a fantastic night. And I'll leave it entirely to you. It will, it'll be well, a good night. Not entirely, but uh, mostly to you. I'd sooner take an engine out of a Rolls Royce than do this. Two hours later, and Peter's hopes of a barbecue lunch are rapidly disappearing. <clears throat> Why did I have to up my big gob and say we'll have a barbecue? It's time for Nick's weekly shopping trip to stock up on cleaning supplies. He's a very discerning shopper. Yeah, I like the uh, pot puree one, actually, because it, it gives a nice smell inside the, um, inside the caravans when we're, we're doing it, because they do the original. But um, I'm sure this is the, yeah, this is the pot puree. It gives them a nice, better smell. You can have the original pledge or, or these, but I like the, uh, I like the pop pure, puree, if you like. Back at the park, there's been a complaint about one of the caravans that Nick's responsible for, and no amount of fragrant pot puree is going to save him. We pay £210 for three days, three nights, which I think was disgusting for the price. Oh, I feel it is. What's the I've got no sheets. Then? I've got no sheets on our bed, and I've popped it. I've got the letter here for six of us. You up, oh, well, I've got it's an old blanket. That's what we slept on last night. No, they're very old. The blankets and the carpets are horrible, as if someone's been sick, or all the drinks everywhere, and it's all really not, we're not happy with. So, what do you want Jane to do? No, I don't oh, know move us to doing. another caravan, or just see if it can be cleaned. <laughs> We got, we got a twin if you want to know. Unaware of the complaint and always with his eye on a sale, Colin spotted the park's resident East Enders star, Patsy Palmer, and her fiancé eyeing up one of his new top of the range caravans. Oh, you can look through there, see the kitchen. I'll show you the kitchen if you like, but the, the rest of it is, is, is sealed off. Do you want to look at the kitchen? I think you keep looking at the kitchen. Go on, then. I'll come back. Okay. John, did you come in? Yeah, she's been in. What's she saying? She said, I'll need a refund your money. Mm. I'll get it clean today. I said, it's a bit beyond cleaning. She said, uh, she said, yeah, I think we need a new bit of carpet down. She said, I'll go back up the office and sort out what we can do. She said, it is disgusting. Oh, she nice said, you want a refund? I said, I'll ask the wife and mother and I'll see what they say. Mm. Should have said I said, about... it's not very nice eating here, looking at that. You should have mm. said about the blankets, then blankets we weren't happy with. No, I went out of my mind. Mm. Mm. Well, I'll show you one of them. Mm -hmm. This is the one we had over us. Just this. And you feel it. Right, you agree? Barbara got a letter from you as well the other day. She's oh, come yeah, down. that was Jane, did that? Would she come down? Yeah, she's going to come. Yeah. Is she? Yeah. That'd be nice. I've always yeah. wanted to. We have a mutual friend. Is it? Well, not, you know, not in the end of that. Nick, come and have a look. No extra. It's just like this. I can't really see them because that, that's only the tiny bit. Of the lounge goes right away on the other side of the other unit. That would be polythene there, oh, see? Yeah. That goes into the other bit. Oh. But I mean, you can't really see much. Nice, isn't it? Well, yeah, but the holiday units are. Look, we've got a holiday twin. Beautiful. Just over the back of mine. That's a disadvantage. We're going to have a look. <laughs> We've always wanted to be next to you. She doesn't really talk to me very much because I don't watch EastEnders, you see. I don't, so I don't, you know, I don't, I don't... I'm always nervous of washing soaps 
in case I get um, so involved and I'll be spending my time watching soaps. So uh, I don't, and of course I don't, so I don't watch it. I, I don't know anything about it. I, the only way I know is by coming down here. And um, yeah, she's fine. I mean, she's um, she just mixes in with everyone, and she's a bit of a card. She's quite pleasant. Very pleasant. She bought me a drink here, though. Back with the problem caravan, Nick's getting a carpeting over the stains. Now then, I'm rather bit disappointed about um, 23 carpet. Long Meadow, the carpet. I know. I know. But you, you, you haven't but told, told me about Jay. it. I've well, I've got Joe. your things here, and it's, look, it's not on any of them. Look, there's 23 Long Meadows, nothing about it. This there's a the shower. Eighth. Yeah, this the 8th. The there's the 15th, 23 Long Meadow, nothing about it. 22nd, 23 Long Meadow, nothing about it. I was under All the impression right. that there's anything wrong, you put it on here. Yeah, we do. OK. Yeah. I'm, I'm upset about it. The people are upset about it. It's the first time that they've had to complain. They've been coming every year for five years and they're very disappointed this time, but they've been very nice about it. Mm. Luckily, I've got Victoria Flooring coming down, laying a new carpet today. Mm. OK? And I've told you about 21 needs doing as well. I know. Well, luckily, they're not coming in. I'm not booking that out and I'm going to get that done. Yeah. But you must tell me. I would personally like to, I, I would like to compensate yeah. those people like 10%, but I'm not in a position to. Mm. So I'll tell the girls that any bad marks on the carpet like that, we'll report that. They yeah, should do yeah. It anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, yeah, I mean, that, that's what these are for. Yeah, that's what these are for, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. You know, if there's anything anything wrong, you write it down here so we can get mm. it, the job done. Yeah. I okay. mean, that carpet is disgusting. It is. Mm. And I, I can't, you know, I mean, funny. yeah. Will you be prepared to compensate them? In what way? Well, would you be prepared to maybe give them twenty twenty quid? Like 10% 10, 10 back so to, 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 as an apology to them. Yeah. Would you? Yeah, definitely. Is it a lie? No. Keep going. As Nick's roasting draws to a close, it looks like Peter's might be about to start. Or maybe not. Jane is talking through her plans for the Caribbean evening with the entertainment staff and restaurant manager. Despite promising not to interfere, Colin has invited himself along. We're going to have a meeting about... Oh, yeah. Well, I, said, I, said, I, I won't say anything, I'll just uh, keep in the background. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah, nice, it's doesn't yeah, it? it's fine. What about the pina colada? Pina colada I'll get him to put on as well. Around it, Richard. Yes, yeah, well, we, we do those anyway, but I mean, yeah. it's... Yeah, yeah so these, he said just ask forget, you to... Is it coconut cream or something they use in pina coladas yeah. to make them yeah. right? Uh, authentic. Yeah. Nick is prepared to work, you know, six hours. Yes. You know, and yes. so I want to get our money's worth from him. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Well done, Jane. <laughs> Rule Saunders. Turn a bit. You smell gas? Yeah. I would get the um, this limbo <laughs> dancing thing made, I think. Mm. Yeah. I think that's all, if that's all right with you. I'll keep the cost down. I'll get a quote to make sure it's not going to be too expensive. Some sticks, you might know a limbo dancer who's not working that night and lend us his sticks. Right, OK. They call them <laughs> sticks. They call them sticks in the trade, isn't it? Go on, Pete. Just keep pressing it. It's a lie. You burn your mouth? Yeah, it's not our fault. Be careful. It's a lie. Right, well, leave it on. You've turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was suggested wonder, having a steel band. You a know, steel band? It gets, mm. It's getting expensive. Oh, that's a terrible expense. And what yes. I'm trying to do is to put on a really good night and keep the cost down, mm. you know. Yes, yes. So it's, yes. It's, no, it's, steel bands are too expensive. Yes. But it is the boss's prerogative to change his mind. The meeting, that was fine, yeah, that's great. But it needs one thing, which I think I was thinking about all along, it needs one thing. A steel band. That's what it needs. A steel band. If we get a steel band, the whole thing will be poor little Jane. She didn't want to mention it to me because you know too much money. You know, she's always worried about the money. She always tried to talk to me about the money. But that's what it needs. And I don't know just the man. Austin Baptiste. Fantastic. That's what we do. I've just bought a barbecue from you. 
right? One of the gas ones, the 69.99, right? I'm down here on, you know, just for the weekend. It took me, I reckon, two and a half hours to put this thing together. The reason being, there's some bits of it missing. Now, I'm, there's no way I'm taking all this down and back to bits again, right? So I need either to come along and get the bits that's missing, or, or what? How do we do this? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll come. Uh, I'll come round there shortly. Right. Bye. Things aren't getting any brighter for Peter. They're missing out of that and all. The store doesn't have the vital missing pieces, and Peter has given up any hope of enjoying a Sunday afternoon Barbie. Yeah. Looks the same as the other one. Right. But there's no shelves and no sort of. Right. So I'm wondering if we're going to have to get the whole Barbie because I'm wondering if the shelves are going to fit into the store. Don't tell me that. Don't you start on me now. It's just a, just a suggestion, yeah. <laughs> you just, uh, whatever them other shelves are like out the other bar, we go, I'll fit them, don't worry. Please don't worry about that. Right, you get okay. the shelves, that's all I want. As long as you can drill any holes, you don't <laughs> No, don't be silly, I'll fit it, don't worry. Right, okay. And there's no way I'm turning I want the bits. I've been on it two and a half hours, and now I found out half the bits are missing. Imagine what I've been yeah. like. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Fox Hunter, Peter's hungry family has discovered that the vital missing bits aren't quite as vital as he thought. I have thought of a great idea. What's that? Your Caribbean night. Right. It's your night. But what about a steel band? Yes, well, I wanted a steel band. Yes, I think well, that'd be, um... well, why did you mention it to me? Well, I thought it'd be too expensive. <laughs> well, no, no, not for this. It would be a fantastic night. It's August Great. and all the people Good. are down, you know. We'll have a steel really band. We used to have them, didn't we? Yeah. The only reason we don't have them now so much now is, um, well, the expense of an Austin Baptiste, he stopped coming down himself, and he's the one, he, him himself, he, he, this, he, he just sends his band down, that's not so good. Well, I'll yeah. insist that he comes down. Austin Baptiste, I'm not here at the moment, but you can leave your name and number, and if you return your call as soon as possible. Hello, Austin. Colin Soldiers, Fox Hunter, do you remember? Years ago, if we could agree a price, we'd like you to come down in August on a Sunday, like you used to, the good old days, do you remember them? Ring me back, bye. That's, that's the wrong, that's the wrong uh, accent for him, is it? <laughs> it should be, I like those old men. <laughs> Peter's finally back at his caravan, vowing never to buy a bargain barbecue again. It's horrible when you're skint, isn't it? 